Hi everyone, it's Andrew again for Tutorial Soup, uh, Tutorial 19. Uh, in the last tutorial, we added um, a little bit of uh, collision detection to our game. Uh, now, this is probably something I should have done a little bit earlier, but I actually want to uh, put in a reset button because uh, at the moment, when we when we run the game, it actually just stops and doesn't do anything until you refresh. So we want to kind of we kind of want to credit so we don't have to refresh the screen um, every time we want to re replay the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to add using a bit of jQuery again. We're going to we're going to add some uh, button functionality to our game. So first things first, we're going to be looking at um, messing about with a bit of CSS and HTML so if we come outside of the JavaScript code to the HTML I don't know if you remember that, it's been so long ago um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, a button tag I'm going to give it an ID of reset and the value uh, between the tags is going to be reset so it's going to display reset and just put the close tag in now I'm going to save that um, if we refresh this now you'll see a button um, appears at the top uh, bottom left even of the screen but we don't want it to be there because it's going to be outside the game so it's going to make it look really odd so in order to push that onto the canvas we are going to go into CSS and now we're going to reference the um, we're going to reference the reset tag on the um, or the reset ID on the tag. So if I type in reset, we're going to put position absolute. Put an I in there. That I missed. Now, if I reset this, it should now bounce onto the top left of the canvas, which is good. Now. We don't want it to be up here um, in the top left of the screen because it might it might be a little bit odd again. Um, we want it kind of to be just underneath the game over uh, text when it appears. So we are going to say I would say it's roughly. Uh, so if we start off with margin, so each one of these um, stands for. Um, a different part of the screen so margin left uh, sorry margin top um, right bottom left so we want it to come in from the top roughly about I would say 180 pixels and we want it to come across from the left um, about 250 pixels so if I refresh now yeah that's pretty good maybe come back a little bit so say 220 maybe down the screen a little bit more yeah that's pretty good for me so at the moment this button has no functionality we're going to now go back to our javascript and add some behavior to that button so in order to do that we need to grab the tag or a reference to the to the tag um, so we are going to create a variable called reset button and we're going to reference its tag which was reset so now we have now we have that tag saved into this uh, variable here called reset button so save that now, now, like much like we do with the um, clicking on the canvas, we're going to give the button some behaviour. By um, we're going to type this slightly different. We're going to reference the reset um, button variable, and we're going to say when it's clicked, we want to initiate a function. And what we want that to do is um, reset the game. So we are just going to simply 
state start game. Now, if I do this, oops. Now, so if I refresh, you'll now see when it's game over, if I press the reset button, it starts up again. The only trouble is we don't want this reset button to still display um, once the game is reset. So going back into this function, we are going to reference the tag here. We're going to reference. So we're going to reference the reset button. Um, and say we want to hide the button. So when when the reset button um, is clicked on, we're going to restart the game and hide the button we're clicking on. So now if I refresh that, it actually hides. But what we actually want to do is we want we want to hide the button also as soon as the game starts. So if we come down to here, um, we want to say reset button dot hide. So we don't want it appearing at the start of the game, so we only want it to appear when it's game over. So in order to make it display just at game over, we are going to come down to the collision detection here. We'll do that one first. So we're going to say when we collide with an asteroid uh, reset button is going to show and copy that again and we'll take it down to when the ship um, falls um, below the canvas we're also going to put the reset button up here there so now now it shouldn't appear at the start now if we drop off there now now the button that will appear and we can reset the game and it should also appear when we hit an asteroid so and there you go that's our reset button. Um, and now I'm going to make this. That's going to be the end of this tutorial because I'm trying to make these um, tutorials a little bit shorter and sweeter. Because um, I have had some comments about my videos being too long, and I kind of want to. Uh, I want to kind of adhere to that and perhaps create shorter, um, shorter, uh, more precise um, tutorials. So, in the next tutorial, I am going to be adding a start screen. I'm going to be adding two more buttons. We're going to be adding the start game button and we're going to be adding a menu button. So I will see you in the next tutorial.